nothing and opened up a portal for us to go back to town, and that's where we left off. Ah, yes. Yeah. Uh, I believe he also gave you each ten plat? Ten plats in them. So, you are now allowed to explore the city. Currently, you are in the City of Light. Um, I believe it is lower. Might be. Nope, it's higher. So, you have a couple of places that you could go to that uh, normal people are talking about around the town. There is a tavern by the name of the Gleaming Sun, a blacksmith by the name of the Fiery Breath, a magic shop called the Fractured Light, a potion shop by the Nameless Brews. So you can explore all of those, or you could go to other parts of the City of Light and explore those too. I mean, I'm I, I'm up for for getting some potions because if we need to do some more jobs to keep our money up, uh, I think health potions would be quite nice to uh, gather. I'll accompany you to the potion shop. Might be a good remedy or two there. Uh, will you be coming with us, um, Ascal, to go and get some potions? No, I got something to check. Uh, Skull's gonna actually see if he can find like. Uh, anywhere where, like, there's, like, a criminal syndicate bounty area where he can go and, like, commute with his fellow ruffians. Uh, the best place to do that would probably be the tavern. He's going to the tavern. Alright, we're gonna go to the potion shop first. So, uh, as you enter the, uh, the potion shop, you two see a small little gnome. He is currently uh, brewing a potion and does not notice you walk in. Is there is is there like a bell around to ring? Yes, there there is a bell on his counter that you could ring. Okay, I'm going to walk up and very gently with one or two fingers just tap on the bell on the top of the bell. Just. All right, hold on. He has to make a perception check. <laughs> He has, he has earplugs in, so he doesn't burn his ears. Okay, thank God. All right. You see him take out some small little earplugs, and he'll turn around and say, Hello. Welcome to my shop. Uh, greetings, good sir. Um, I was wondering if you have any um, health potions for me and my friend here. Well, it depends on what kind you are looking for. I have lesser, greater, major, I have potions of healing, and then I have the one that I'm currently brewing. Um, well, what are you looking for, White Paul? Would you, would you like to do your shopping first, or are you okay with me taking, take, taking, having a look? What is it you're burning there? Do what, White Paul? I couldn't hear you there. What is it you're brewing there? Oh, this is a potion of ethereal. Mm. How much would that run more? Do um, I know ethereal is? You to have five platinum pieces. Five platinum. Pricey, but... Do I happen ethereal to Ethereal might be very useful. Do I happen to know what ethereal is? Nope. Okay. Well, you can make an Arcana check if you want to, to see if you could yeah. identify how strong the potion is. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll do that. I'll have a look at that. Uh, 16. Alright, as you take a look at the potion, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> uh, as I look before Wipeaw decides to put his money on, I'm just gonna go, are you sure that's safe um not at all well yes i'm sure that it's safe the only problem is have i had someone drink this no uh oh, sure i can find it in a subject somewhere white paw i i don't suggest buying the potion if he doesn't know it's safe I know that it's My safe i just have five. never had someone drink it before because no one has had the money for it I've made it many times, and I drank it myself. 
Well, at least you didn't you don't grow five heads. I mean, that that's a good thing. Five um, platinum. Yes, it would be five platinum. I will definitely take some. Being in a new world, seeing some strange things, this may come he, in handy. He looks astonished. You actually have fi five platinum pieces. Yeah, well, we um, we 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 have our ways of getting a good bit of money, don't we, White Paw? I've been working for quite a while. Lots of people get sick, need healing. The gnome just audibly fucking blinks and is like, I even here in the city. You know what? Fine. He, he actually doesn't believe you, but he will go to the counter with his... He will finish brewing the potion very quickly and set it on the counter, and he will say... He will uh, hold out his hand and say, Five platinum. I remember, right? You just told us we got ten, so I'll give him half of the ten. Alright. You give him five platinum pieces, and he will bite on it to make sure that it's real, and see that it's real, and be like... He will just audibly blink and just put the platinum under his counter and just stare into your soul. Um, may I have uh, three bottles of greater healing, please? Sure. He will place three uh, greater healing potions on the counter. And I believe greater healing potions in my world are the same normal price, and I don't know what their normal price is in d and I think it's 200 gold. Uh, I think it's 200 gold. I believe it's 200. I don't know how much that is in platinum pieces. Uh, platinum equivalates to 100 gold each. Ah, so if I give him so if I give him three, then that will be enough for the three potions. Yeah. Uh, no. You would have to give him... Oh, what? If they're 200 a pop, you would need 400 gold, so you would need four. I'll give him four. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll give him four platinum. All right. He also looks at the four platinum pieces that you give him and is now writing things down in a book and he will say, what are your names? I'm just going to look and go, and go I don't give out names until I know exactly what's in the book. I need to keep my uh, identity very secret around these he will. <laughs> he will show you the book of customers that are going to be very nice to me. Oh, um, then I go, my name is Mitchie. Alright, he will write down your name. Uh, you have just given this man a, uh, lifetime supply of drugs that he could buy to make more potions. <laughs> you know, and what we get out of it was what we wanted. And he will say, please come back to my shop any point in time that you need. I'm sure I will. I think I'll be getting more of these po potions from you, my good my good man. And he will uh, he will set two potions on the counter. I don't know he what will say, uh, here, take these. Um, of course, why not? And I are these free potions? Or do yes. I have to pay for them? Uh, they are free. Yep. So he will give you two potions of haste. Ooh! And he will say, Since you were so nice and gave me a lot of money, I will have the materials to make at least ten of those ethereal potions the next time that you come back. Well, when we come back and we have the appropriate bits of money, I think me and uh, my friend White Paul will be able to buy some. What don't you think, um, White Paul? It turns out to be as useful as it, I think it will, then that sounds like a very good plan. Uh, I will turn and give White Paw one of the haste potions that I've got. Thank the, you much. The brewer is clearly smiling, and he is currently going to write a letter to buy as many fucking drugs as he can. <laughs> but he will also say, do you require anything else? Um... Uh, I do not, but if my friend uh, White Paw needs anything, then he will tell you. 
I don't need anything else here that I know of. I was hoping to visit the blacksmith. Will you join me, or do you have other uh, errands? I'll join you in that. I'll, I'll have a little wander with you. All right. Then we will go to the the tavern. Uh, Iskal, as you enter the tavern, there are multiple people here. However, the first person that greets you is a uh, a similar person that looks almost like Mitchy, but he is very young. And he has brightly colored blue hair and brightly colored green eyes. He is a Neko. Uh, and he will kind of wander up to you and he will say, Welcome to my tavern. And Skull just, like, glares at him just because... Oh yeah, uh, my character is Boris. Yep, I know. Continue. You already know what he looks like. Uh, just because she's our like, made an encounter with, uh, you know, like. So where are we at now? You're, you're. I'll introduce you later. I just got home. Yep, I'll introduce you here in a second. Continue. Uh, he'll, you know, just kind of glare at him just because, like, cat people. But, uh, you will ask him. Uh, do you perhaps have? Any jobs downtown? Or know of any secrets going on? No, but I do know someone who would. And he will point to uh, a man sitting in a corner, and he is fully cloaked in a very, uh, very black cloak. The skull will like flick him one gold coin and go straight to that guy in a calm, you know, fashion. Alright. As you flick the tavern keep one gold, he's just like he just kinda shrugs and goes back to his counter. Uh, as you approach the as you approach the person in the in the robe you Eventually, he will. T he won't turn at you, but he will say, "What do you need?" The real question is not what I need, but what you can provide. I can provide a lot. Information, anything. What do you know of the hells? The hells. Hmm. Which one? Skull's not first, and all the hell's just yet. So, <laughs> any of them, all of them. Well, I know that the underworld exists now, and I've been there myself. And then there's this group of bandits calling themselves the Hellbringers, and then there's this ragtag group of fucking assholes who fucking plunder everything, calling themselves the Hellfuckers, or whatever the fuck they call themselves. So you've been to the hells yourself? Yes, I've been to the underworld. How did you get there? I opened the portal. So you know a way? Yes, of course I do. Can you teach me? Perhaps. But he will, uh, he will look at you and you will see a shadow. And he will say, My power is probably much greater than yours. That's why I'm here. I need to know how to gain more power and how to get to the hells to gain even more. I could teach you or just bring you there, but I'll tell you this. Currently, the hell is being ran by this little pixie. And, uh... <coughs> it hasn't been fully made yet. What can you teach me now? And I will whip out one platinum. He will take the platinum and he will say, Well, they say that this guy named Hekia Kai was the leader of it at one point in time in his life. 
Nobody knows where he went to or how he did it. Or even if he's still alive. But he's I can tell alive. you. He will look at you. What did you say? I will then take out my blade and tell him that this was once, you know, Hecky's blade, and I must return it to him as part of my pact to the weapon. And uh, just mention to him that, you know, it's, uh, you know, the story of, you know, knowing that he's still alive, and I have to return this to him. He's still alive. Yes. Yeah, he will blink at you. If he is still alive, then that means that there is still a chance for me. For you to do what? He will pull back his, uh, his cowl, and on his neck you can see a mark of a black star. One that is very familiar to you. And who might you be, exactly? I... I am called Vainai. Well, Vainai. I know of that symbol. And I know it has much to do with Heki. It is not of Heki. The power that gave me this... This... Wretched scar! He looks angry. I will never forgive him. He told me I could have power. He told me that I could be different. And now, I have to search for the blood of a god! Well, perhaps you can help me. I can possibly bring you a blood of a god in time, but I need more power to do so. Unfortunately, all the gods that I know wouldn't be so generous to give them to me. Who said about give? It has to be given, not taken. I can find my ways. If you do, I will grant you access into the underworld, and I will lead you there myself. Well, until then, what can you do for me? Because I'm going to need a whole lot to move forward. I can give you this, and he will hand you a shard. Specifically, the shard is swirling with a black ethereal essence. Uh, is it like the looks of it, like the one that I had on... Cow the Liar? Yes. Yeah, okay. And what might I do with this? Figure it, figure it out. I don't know. Immediately, uh, he will just take his weapon and, you know, tap it to the shard. As you tap your weapon to the shard, nothing seems to happen. However, your shard begin or the the shard begins to hum a little bit. All right. Well, I guess this is a start. What may I might, well, what might I do to hire your services to travel along with me? I'll just come with you. We might have similar interests moving forward, so perhaps, but, but perhaps not. Me, that star that you have, are you at all connected? Unfortunately, yes. But do you have your own free will? I do, but... If they see it fit, they will send things after me. And how long have you been 
not sent things after you. As long as I've been in this tavern. He looks at the Neko. What has this tavern done to make sure of that? He points to the kid standing at the counter. <clears throat> and as you take a better look at him, you can see around his neck he wears a uh, an amber circlet. Is it something to do with him himself? Perhaps you should ask him. I'm not allowed to give that information out. Only him. So, do you feel that you would provide me with such service traveling, or would you be better off here to where a plan can be made? He will give me a blessing, and I will go. But that blessing does have a time limit, so I'd have to come back. And I can trust that you will do that on your own, knowing the time limit. Nor will I have to tell you. You will just go. Yes, of, yes, of course. Do you have teleportation magic? Of course I do. All right, then. Let's go. All right. Let's he's going to walk up to the Neko and get a blessing from him, and then he's going to follow you. I'll tell the Neko if there's anything he can bless for me. Unfortunately, I cannot bless you. All right, then. Well, I guess he, he'll be off. He looks excited as he says this, though. Like you were something magnificent. You just gonna stare at him blankly and just be like, "All right, I guess we're off." And, you know, just leave the tavern with the creepy man. All right, you leave the tavern with the creepy man. And now we go to the blacksmith. Heck yeah. Right. Well, Mitri, it's nice to see we're getting along like cats and dogs. All right. <laughs> as you uh, as you walk into the uh, the the blacksmith, you can see a uh, a tiefling, a red tiefling, hammering at a sword. Uh, currently, he seems to be busy. Should we wait for him and just browse the wares, or would you like to disturb this one, too? Um, this, this is usually, usually where, where I come from, there's usually a bell you ring when you want someone's attention when they're working away, but, uh, I don't really think there's a bell around here. Oh, shoot, did we hit level four? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, shoot, I, I didn't put, uh, my feature ability score improvement. Uh, I guess just knock at the knock at the desk and see what happens. Do you knock at the desk? <clears throat> I will. I'm not doing anything for this. This is all. All right. As you knock on the desk, the tiefling will suddenly you will hear just like this. Uh, As he keeps going a little bit, but it goes a little bit softer until finally he's like, he'll put down the hammer and he'll go to the counter and say, What? I was looking to get a new weapon. This old hand axe of mine's getting a bit rusty. I'm wondering what you might have. I have a lot. What do you want? Looking for something light. Um, a sword, Light. maybe a rapier? Light, not happening. Anyone in town that would have such, would have any finer weapons? These are he, beautiful, of course, but just not shrugs. for my style. I could, do uh, a, I could do a request for you, but I don't have any light weapons left. I sold them to the army. 
And how long would it take? Three days. It may be worth the investment, for sure. You would kind of need a weapon, though, to keep you going until it is, um, made. The hand axe will still serve me. And there's always yeah. magic. So keep the hand axe until later, oh, and, then, sure. and then pick up the uh, pick up the newest weapon. I'd like to request a rapier. I think, from my experience in the battle, it makes the most sense for me now. What material? I'd, I'd Any... say, I think of iron. I've got I've got iron, I've got steel, I've got gold, I've got amber, I've got electrum. What about, what about silver? I've got titanium. He keeps going, ignoring Mitchie. I've got uh whatever the fuck this is, and he will pull out a massive bar that is swirling with magical power. He says, Haven't been able to melt it yet though. Do I know what this is? Ha! <laughs> make an arcana check. Okay. That is a 14. Nope. Can I make an arcana check too? You're not there yet. Okay. Well, beautiful as it is, if you can't melt it, I can't make a weapon from I can't request a weapon from it yet. Well... The weird thing is, is that I can feel like it could just manifest a weapon from it. But I don't know how to do it and would take practice. And how much would it cost for you to take that practice? Um... He thinks for a moment. Sorry, I'm going through old files saying how much the training actually costed to do this. <laughs> uh, about two platinum. Make me an insight check. Insight? Yeah. Can I do one uh, as well? Yeah. Um, what would the role for that be? Exclamation mark. Uh, check, check insight. Check space insight. Yeah. Oh god, excuse me. Really? Insight's wisdom, right? Uh, I believe insight is intelligence. No, it's wisdom. Oh, really? No, it's wisdom. Oh, it'll be the same thing anyway. Um, uh, 19. That no, man lying his fucking forward. ass off. Oh, so I know that he's lying his ass. Yeah, he's lying his ass off. I I will look at him, hand on the counter, and just go, just go. Now, now, we know here, me and my friend here know that you're very much lying about that price. It's not going that cheap, I know that much. I'm doing you a favor. And what favor would that be? I'll take two platinum for it and I'll do it. And you're saying the weapon would be worth more than that, Mucky? Yes. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to look and just get and just get and just go. I'd recommend taking it because if this weapon is really more powerful than he says it is, then it might be worth our investment taking. Well, seeing as much I've already invested in the potion, a new hmm. weapon should definitely be worth it. Hmm. Well, how about we get you that new weapon ordered, and then for a couple of days, me, you, will try and get Asca Ascal, do some jobs to get the money raised up, and then we give it to him. I take out one platinum piece. Half up front. 
he kind of just looks at you hearing the entire conversation because he has a 20 he has a 20 in perception <laughs> uh-huh. and he will just say listen he will grab the bar <clears throat> and then you hear him say something and it sounds a little bit like this a lock to tie visin naka ita the full Allah katai and suddenly the bar will shift into a magical rapier I'm pulling out the other platinum he will just look at you I'm... and put the platinum back on the uh, on the counter and he will set it on the counter and he will set the rapier on the counter That, that was fast. And impressive. Quite. He doesn't say anything. Um, is it safe? Now there's two, two platinum on the table. He doesn't take it. May I touch the blade? He just looks at you. I'm going to reach out slowly and touch the hilt of this magical looking rapier suddenly as you touch the hilt of the magical rapier you begin to hear a small hum is anyone else hearing that noise mitchy is not hearing it um what noise Oh, magical weapons. It's always risks. So I'll lift up the rapier and test it for balance. As you lift up the rapier, it feels heavy at first, and then suddenly it becomes light. And as you test it for balance, it is nearly perfectly balanced. This almost seems too good to be true. What's the catch here? What am I missing? He will just look at you. And he will say, Naka fatin naso. Do I know what language that is? He is speaking in Infernal. Oh, I know Infernal. You don't understand even what he's saying. Ah, uh, is it too? Is it ancient infernal? Uh, well, you can feel as if he is speaking something that is in infernal, but to you, you can't hear it, which is weird. Ah, uh, okay. It's almost as if he's using something to hide what he's truly saying. Okay. How did you come to possess the bar originally? If I might ask. I found it. He's lying. I'm just go I'm just going to get I'm just going to go Oh yeah, and I find golden chickens outside my house every morning. Do you really Why have we been that? eating like shit? He asked, Do you really want to know? I yeah. would. This is a very interesting material, and I'm sure its histri- history, even if it may be dark, is important to know. Whenever I was going to one of the libraries, I began to read this one book titled The Twelve. Everyone knows of them. Everyone cares about them. But this book was different to me. I asked to take it home, and I had to buy it, so I bought it. Whenever I took it home and placed it on my bed, suddenly it changed into the bar. I began looking further into it, 
And apparently, I am one of the sons of the original Twelve. That is how I got that bar. Which one? They called him Thebius. Do I remember what Phoebus was? Phoebus was a demon. Ah. Uh, you should remember who Thebius is because I had told them who what uh, the guy I was looking for for my weapon. Yep. So so you you fully remember him. Ah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. You're the son of the demon. At least a long ancestor, yeah. That is not where I was expecting this story to go. I was expecting you to say, like, Ben or something. I'm a tiefling. You really expect me to be kin to a human? Yeah, well, there have been de there have been de there have been very many many um encount encounters where people have different children. Well, at least where I come from, anyway. He just kind of looks at you and says, It doesn't matter. Are you sure you want us to take the bar the bar away from you? I mean, if it's an answer, I mean, it's a gift from your ancestor, wouldn't you? For some reason, I can sense something within all of you. You can sense something inside of us? He will look at you, and he will kind of look around, and he will say, follow me. And he will start walking to a back room. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow. Very, very slowly. Whitepaw, do you follow? Sorry, I was muted. I'm going to lay a third platinum on the counter and follow holding the sword, still admiring its strange colors. Can a skull walk in after they walk into the back? Sure. And you see them walking into the back. The skull takes the platinum leaf left on the counter. <laughs> okay, fair enough. And he's just going to look around with that one guy and just kind of like see if there's anything, you know, going on in the front? There is nothing going on other than the sword that is currently being worked on, but it is not completed. He's just gonna wait until they get done that. Alright. As you head into the back room, the room is filled with amber. On the walls, on the ceiling, everywhere. And he will look at you and he's, he will say, we are able to freely speak here. What do you know of the Twelve? Little Did enough. We have um, only been begun our journey. Yeah, we talked to one of the original members. Trying to remember his name. What was the guy called we met first? The Prince, you mean? No, the guy who talked about making a weapon out of stars. Ah, oh. Thebius. Oh, that was oh, that was Thebius. Oh, well, no, no. <laughs> Actually, that was Hecky, but same difference. Hmm. When you say we can speak safely here, do you mean the amber has some effect that shields us from prying eyes? He will nod. Very interesting to know in these times. Good to have Okay, someone. you were paying more attention to Silver when she was speaking. I mean, I, I tried to. I mean, I tried to. I mean, I was paying a bit more attention while she was talking to me. I wasn't paying the most attention to the world. But, uh, yeah, um, we kind of found a tomb which had one of the original members inside. Um, the... Grass lady, I've forgotten her name. Flower. Uh, 
Flowers. Flower. That's her name. She was married Flower to... Flower Livington. Yeah. She was married to Ben. Yes, I know. I know the... Your right. ancestor was Thevius, you said? Yes. Thevius number Akai. Horace Horaface, Jason Verdum, Ben Anonion, Olivia. Some of the names I remember. They're in a book that we have, or one of our party had. One of our partners have it. What do what you is there that you can tell us? Understand about them. Well, we know that one of them sacrificed their lives to keep um, despair. I believe to keep despair in um, keep keep despair away, or something in those lines. I believe you are talking about fear. Uh, yeah, yeah. She kept fear from getting it, but sacrificed her life in the process. That and also one of our party members got a gift from from Flower, a staff. If they are truly giving out gifts, that truly must mean that the time is nearing. <clears throat> the time for what? The time for the greatest calamity that this earth will ever see. Oh, well, that's delightful to hear. What do you know of fear? I haven't been face to face with it, but I've had many encounters with it. I mean the creature. There's a creature called fear? Do you not know of him? Uh, sadly, no. Uh, do I know anything about him? Uh, a little. You know that he's a, uh, bad guy. Yep, uh, I know the basics, which is just he is evil. Then he must be stopped. Fear, otherwise known as forever ending all reaping, wants to end Everything in this world. Typical bad guy. Including the gods. And he can actually accomplish it. A being what? with the power to slay the gods. That is one... Uh, not power. just slay them. Send them to oblivion. Then I must ask the one very important question of how did he obtain this power and how do you stop it? He will frown and he will say I don't want to talk about how he got it. But I can tell you As for the stop stopping it. do we have to collect something from each of the twelve? Just trying to make an educated guess here. No, but I can tell you this. There are things that the original Twelve left behind. Gifts, powers, things that are beyond our knowing. Things that even we don't understand. And there are things that you could do to become one of the twelve. Take then up the mantle. My, then here's my last question. Where do we start with this? Right here. And he will hand you a note. I will take the note and read it out for me and um, White Potter here. Do you read it out loud? Uh, I'll read it I'll, I'll read it quietly to just me and White Paul. Alright, before, before you can even read it, he will stop you from saying it out loud. And he will just, he will say, Do not speak the word aloud. Okay, okay then I'll, I'll nod and then hold it so that me and White Paul can both see it. Alright, on the piece of paper, it reads, Malona. Is this a person? That is a 
place, he says, questioning. Why the hesitation? Does the place still exist? He shakes his head no. Do you know where the remains would be? He looks at you with this look of... As if he's seen it before. It is almost a will bewildered uh, look. Do you know if there's any a key we may need to access, or a direction that we do, may start to look? All you must do is be a torchbearer. So you just need to bring a pool? No. Not literally. You see, you were talking about your friend that got a gift from Flower. Uh, yes. yes. If you truly wish to become a torchbearer, I would recommend going to Malona. He says very quietly, and not with any intent to use the power word. It is almost as if he is fragmenting his voice in a way so you can hear it, but he's not actually speaking it. Hmm. I'm then going to look and go, and just go, and go, if you know, ex if you know whereabouts on a map it will be, please point it out to us so then we may set off to there. There is no map. Well, that's convenient. All you must do is speak that word when you are ready. Well, um, I guess we'll have to get the party back together. See yeah. what else they've found. He will just simply if we need to speak, should we return here? If you need to speak about anything that is related to fear or the Twelve, I would recommend coming back into this room. Yes, I will allow you back here anytime. Do you have, like, a code word so, like, only... So then only me and you know Vesky. that when we say that's a way to get in. Vesky. Vesky. Got it. Um, then go turn around and just go and just go. White boy, I believe one of our associates is waiting for us. All right, the guy's gonna yes. walk out to the front counter and see a scowl in the shadow, and he's gonna be like, "What can I do for you, sirs?" A skull is gonna be like looking at this guy and the party as they walk out, and be like, "So what's this all about?" Uh, I'm going to pull pull us up. Us up into like a, a show an arm over the shoulder situation and go and go trust me i'm only going to be here for a second but we've been given a tip i think that you may be interested in going considering it helped you meet more of the 12 and i'm going to pull out the piece of paper and show him the word and very carefully go to him don't say it out loud just memorize it And who might this be? It is not a who. It's a place, apparently. I'm not talking about that name on the piece of paper. I'm talking about the guy who gave it to you. Oh, me? That's... I'm just a simple blacksmith. A simple blacksmith that's leading people into somewhere that they do not which know. So you may not be that simple. I'm going to look at... I'm going to look at... I'm looking at Ascal and just go... And just go... And just going... And I'm gonna look back at the blacksmith and be like, "I'm be like, I may have to tell a scowl what you are." And then look at a scowl again and go, "And go, why don't you show the blacksmith your blade?" What do you mean, my blade? Why? Should well, I show my well, maybe you and the blade's creator may have a sort of um connection. 
Does a blade feel anything? Mm-hmm. Do I notice the blade? Like... It's freaking, the, it's, fr it's freaking the fuck out, yeah. So I'll just, like, unseave the weapon and, like, point it towards the blacksmith. The blacksmith will look astonished and say, That is one fine blade you have there. The owner was Devious Nombra Akai. Yes, I know. And yet you say nothing. Other than what a fine weapon it is. Because I know nothing of my predecessor. So what do you hold of your predecessor? And why does my blade rage? Is it just like raging or is it just like what? It like is a out? happiness. Uh, so why is my blade so happy to see you? <clears throat> because I am a long, long line of a Kai. Is this name on the paper that I had that had the map on it? Is his name on it? Yes. All right. Well, he hasn't told you his name. The blacksmith hasn't told you his name. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so I'll ask him his name. Hold on. I've got to actually fucking. I keep having to click back on this because I can't remember my own NPCs' names. I am Hivasi. And now I make the reference that his name's on that map. Yep. Yeah, names on the map. So what do you know of this place? And you'll show him the map with the paper with his name on it. Ugh, excuse me. Um, the guy will say, Ah, yes, my home. It is here, but also somewhere else. And nobody knows where the fuck that is. We were tasked with going there. We are waiting until... Uh, parent image of your father finishes a portal or finishes a walkway to there. My father is probably long gone. But an image of him yet stays. He We've just, seen he just looks at you and says not my father. My father died many years ago. You are talking about one of my predecessors. Say, I know this is a little bit out of the out of the ordinary, but was he ever royalty of any kind? My predecessor. Your predecessor, yes. Or like, my father. Your pre the predecessor. I mean, was he ever a prince? Or yeah, anything like we've that? had princes in our family before. Was he one of them? I, I would assume so. Our family was born to the king, so... Yeah. And then I guess we have met his father. Then. Well, we met, well, we met his predecessor anyway. <clears throat> anyway, if you're not here for wares, then please get out of my shop. I'm gonna go. Thinks. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Question. Come on, come on, ask girl. White four. I believe we've caused this man enough trouble for the day. For the day, but I think we will be back for more of your fabulous wares, my my dear boy. I'm gonna give him a wink. Nice. Right, he's the gonna. He's gonna has, return your wink. Uh, says no, and he will uh, bring up. Fourth, the the creepy guy with the hood. I never, I forgot his name. If I ever got it, you never got his name. What of this black star, and why? How is it connected to Hickey so much? That is a mark of coal. One of his minions. He's currently been given a boon to. Not be currently detected, 
by fear himself. Suppose if he he has common interest with me. But I must find a better way to protect him moving forward. I believe you already have that. He will look at the shard that you put in your pocket. The shard, what is it? Perhaps if you go to the place that I told you about, you will find out. Um, before I leave, do you have a scabbard that will fit this fine blade? He will just toss you a scabbard. I appreciate. Alright. I will go with you guys then. Let's get this over with. Alright. And finally, as you are walking out, a snow elf will come fucking barreling down the road. And, uh, Boris, please introduce your character. And palish blue eyes. He is six four and twenty five years old, and one hundred twenty pounds. All right. He's wearing uh he's wearing a large furry coat because he can't have uh, a lot. No, not furry. He's wearing a light shirt and light pants with armor on because he can't handle the heat of the. Summer at the moment, because he's a snow elf. Alright. <clears throat> it appears that you have a new party member. I mean, I look, I'm, I'm, I'm looking um, brute Boris up and down and just going, why does he look so much like a, fu a female I had fun with back in, the la back in another town? Oh my that is very confusing to me. That's a female. <laughs> Excellent. The DM Always happy to get new party the, members. The DM that is currently sitting behind the wall will face palm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I restrain myself from the first session. I'm allowed to make one joke. If I'm, allowed. <laughs> I'm allowed to. Okay. Anyway, what do you guys do? Um, is this there... place. This is a question to the DM, by the way. This place that we've gotten on the piece of paper. Are we high enough level to go at it, or do you think we should stay back and do more, uh, do a different mission to try and level up? I don't know. I would love to for you to try to find out. I believe we should level up more. <laughs> uh, I think one more level up should be good. If you try it. That is me telling you to try yeah. it. And see what happens. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we um, should we wait and level up one more time, or should we just fucking go for it? Uh, I think we should level up one more time, just in case. Let's go. I, I would like to see some proper combat. Hmm. I don't know how any of you played it yet. Let's go. Somebody. He was ready for the trash beating that Bez is about to put upon your asses. Well, as Cal said, he was looking for um, pa he was looking for bounty missions. I mean, he must have found at least one bounty mission that we can all go on and take a hit at. Uh, I'm gonna look at the the shaded figure and uh, ask him. Boris will get a piece. Get his notebook, write down something, and just sit and ask this, and considering he's mute, that why don't you try out the asking, asking for asking people in need? Like, let's say someone wants this person found, or is someone missing somewhere, we could help find them. Small jobs. 
the skull like ben looks always like have somebody missing paper. and we always end up finding them and you will look at the cloaked figure and ask him i never got your name what was it all right boys this right guy oh no sorry i was talking to this one guy i like hired basically my name is this guy this guy what what do you what do you know of this town what do you know of any jobs we might do I could get you a job what's the benefit uh XP <laughs> no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me is it rescuing or is it blood or is it bloodthirsty com combat I could get you a multiple of jobs. I have my ways. I mean, I'm down for a little. I mean, I'm I'm down for a little bit of swashbuckling and taking taking enemies out. I'm down for that. Did you say turn down for that, like as in like turn down for I'm, what? No, I, I'm I'm <laughs> basically I'm down for taking down. I'm I'm down for taking out enemies. Okay. Like killing them. So there there are two things that you could do that you are actually ready for that I can tell you out of character. You could take the mission from the the shadow you could continue exploring the city you could hunt down the rest of the 12 if they are on the continent that you are on you could go to malona or you could figure out exactly what the blacksmith was talking about being a torchbearer what did he mean oh uh can i ask I forgot that guy's name already. This <laughs> guy. Oh, I was this guy. I'm gonna ask this guy what does he know of the torchbearers. What's that? What do you know of the torchbearers? What are what is that? What are you are you talking about holding a torch? Like what? Something tells, nothing. Something tells me he doesn't know what you're on about to scout. There many things. We might need to phrase it differently. I literally don't know what you're talking about. What do you know of the Twelve? Uh, the basics. Heroes and save the world. And yet you, you have a mark upon yourself from fear and I guess you guys now know that and you know hear that I wouldn't say that name out loud oh okay he who should not be named that is a lot better <laughs> I heard you're like slight laugh <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to hold it back <laughs> oh my god, what is happening to my internet? Excuse me, Cloak. Excuse me, Cloak figure. I'm um, sorry, Escal, but uh, I think we all agree that we need to do not, some, not something very big, but something quite in the lines of it. So, uh, how about we take one of his bounty jobs and then see what happens from there? We get gold from this. Um, gold? A chance well, to see how we fight together? If you're yeah. if you're looking for a fight, I could, you know, always just take off this uh you know, this this blessing that I have and we could fight a big demon. That doesn't seem a challenge we're up oh, to. I was or, more thinking. Alternatively, uh, we can fix the problem that the city of light is having for so many years. Oh, tell, tell us about that then. It's a dragon. What? Where there's a dragon, oh. there's a sword. You're telling me that we're living in a place with a tavern, a fully working blacksmith, and you guys are being attacked by a dragon? Yep. 
we've we've ha- we've lost a lot of uh, people think- because of it. I've never hunted a dragon before. Unfucking believable. I mean, it's either that or the demon. What of this dragon? Uh, don't know much about him. We just how had to. Stro- how-, how strong was he? Pretty fucking strong. I don't think we're quite dragon hunters yet, but before long, I'm sure. I could get you some cool stuff. Young, adult, or ancient? Huh? What was that? Sorry. There are three rankings of dragons. A young dragon, an adult dragon, or an ancient dragon. Oh, he's, one he, he's, is... he's probably fucking ancient. Oh, well, that's fucking great. The strongest type of dragon. Yeah. If you have the power to go to the hells and back, what might you know to help us defeat this dragon if we choose to do take this? Well, he just smi- He just smiles. There's many things we could do. If we do fight this dragon, there's riches beyond hold. Things that can't be told. Uh, there's a horde always where the dragon may be. I don't... You want to try a few smaller monsters first? I, I, I would... What's that de- You talked about a demon. What kind of demon are we talking about? Uh, it could range from anything, really. We could fight a god. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting a god, even if that is fucking possible. What of the, uh, the place on the paper? Oh, that the the place that uh, the, the, place that the blacksmith again, gave you. The piece of paper that had. Uh, I I have no idea I... what the fuck that place is. Uh, I'm just gonna show it to him. I'm gonna show it to him again. Go. Do you think we should go there and see what happens? I mean, you can go there. I'm not stopping you. I'm just looking for bounty missions where you find a group and kill kill the group off and then get up for it. We're in the city of light. Right, we're in the city of light, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're in the city of light. The city of light pretty much taking care of all the small things. Usually, most of the things that they're burdened by are a lot greater. Yeah, the city of light doesn't really have much trouble. You know, that's and what the guards the are here for. Well, except for you. The city of light. Then I guess, um, I guess inch. Because we're going for, because we're going for this place. Everyone okay with that? All then okay. Bruce, Horus, I mean. <laughs> Bruce. Boris turns into a shark. <laughs> <laughs> Boris is the Hulk. Alright, do you guys choose to go you to Malona? Like, you wouldn't like Boris exactly. I guess so. Alright. I Someone, guess so. Someone's gotta speak the name. I'll I'll stand to quite a clear part, part of the city so then I don't damage anything and go Malona! Does just him teleport? Nope. All right. Suddenly, as you speak the word Malona, your voice begins to echo out, and you are suddenly sent to here. 
Standing before you is something that so do we fucking save. Hold on. I don't know why this didn't save. Nope. Alright, so you appear right in the center of here. Just and me? No, all of you. Okay, thank God for that. Suddenly around you, you can see 12 pillars. Oh, great. Full of and as you, as you are kind of looking around, you can see that uh, you are basically standing on thin air. Everything around you, but the color, but the pillars, uh, other than a few of them, are black. That's all you see is darkness. Well, doesn't this feel familiar? Exactly familiar. All right, and as you look at Escal, instead of Escal, there stands a pixie. What in the universal Okay, hell? so I'm not the only one seeing this. Or is his legs running down frequently like... Oh my god, I'm Fuck actually me. here. I'm just, I'm just gonna look and just go, first, first off, look at Boris and go, that's fucking impressive, I want that as a fucking bookmaker. And thirdly, and secondly, what the fuck happened to a scal, and why is he now a fairy? The fuck are you guys looking at? No, 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 a scal, you're not there. Quentin is. Oh. You bitch. Uh, hold on. Wait, so Quentin, Quentin, fully? Yep, you're you're here. So Quentin can, is can see this and interact. Yep. All right, hold up. I gotta get a voice ready. <coughs> Hello. Uh, explanation would be nice. Why are you a fairy? Why are you here? What happened to our person? Uh, I you can't know. just ask someone why they're a fairy. I, I was born a fairy. See? As far as I know. But, welcome. I, I don't know what I'm fully doing here, or why you guys are here. Does the name of Scal ring any bells but... to you? No. Yeah, it does. You know your refractions. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I know them. Oh. Yeah, you know them. Fuck. Do, do, I, do I explain that to them? You Should can. I, or... You can if you want to, but know that... Eh. Know that there is a cost with everything. Let's say this skull is a part of me. We have a, a connection. Okay, ask, that, that's my first question. Um, do you know anything about the pill? Do you know anything about this I know place? A lot, actually. Is um, he points at the blue pillar? Uh, that that one's mine. Wait, you're a number. You're you're a member of the twelve. I just recently gained my powers, and I'm off somewhere else, but. I don't know why I'm here right now. Well, we're trying to become members of the Twelve. Members of the Twelve? Torchbearers at the very least. Hmm. Well, I don't know much of gaining the power. I just stumbled upon it myself. I, I guess you can say was 
chosen, but for reasons I don't know. But Quentin, as you are standing day, here, as you grow in oblivion, you feel like if you choose to, you could select <coughs> any of their party members to hold a small bit of the power of the color, and perhaps even give them their own trial. A small bit of power, as in the sense connection to my color? No, a different color. Oh. You already have your herald. All right. Um. And yes, you can choose silver. What? She is technically here. But what I'll do. I could give you guys a glimpse, or at least someone, of a little bit of what I know and pass something on. And so Quentin will put his hand over his eye and go into D&D roll and go eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo. And uh, one, two, three, four. And he will roll a 1d4 going down. So you know, Ben, it will be White Paw, Silver, Mitchie, and then Boris as, uh, you know, the same as number one being White Claw. Yep, White yep, Paw, yep, uh, yep. Two being I, Silver, I get what you're saying. Mitchie, and four being Boris. I get what you're saying. Go ahead. Uh, so Quentin's going to be like, all right. Let's put this to chance and luck, for one of you will show whether or not you have it or you don't. For I'm going to be doing a trial myself of the color, and I need all the help I can. One. Damn! Okay. All right. <laughs> what, col fall. what color is it, then? Uh, you can pick any of them that are uh, taken. So what So currently, uh, all yeah. the ones that are currently on this page are taken, right? Uh, no, we have green, orange, white, light blue, gray, and scarlet. Well, scarlet, Those scarlet is technically taken, but not yet. I wanted white. Damn. I okay. You I, you could give white uh, Paul white. That would uh, kind of be I, funny. Yo, yeah, well, that's what I'm gonna. That's all. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. That uh, would jump. Uh, white paw. Uh, so it seems I've chosen you. What? What is your name? Sergeant White Paw. A sergeant. Well, with your name being white, and there's a color free of white. Why not make you White Paw of the White? And what does this entail? I heard you mention a trial. <sighs> on Hold own, on. And it's a trial to prove yourself and possibly gain more power. Let's see who appears beside of you. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking mm, fear. Alright! <laughs> <laughs> mm. Suddenly, standing be uh, beside uh, Quentin will appear a demonic-looking person that you've seen before. Oh. That I've seen before? That you've all seen before. Or that we've all seen. And he will Do say... Do I just know who it is right off the Yes, you know who this is. And he will finally say, Welcome, Torchbearers! To the world that is unknowing, welcome to oblivion itself. Who is it? It's Hecky. You bitch. So Quentin is just, you know, kind of like in pause, you know, staring at Hick Hecky and will say... But why are you here? 
I must explain everything to them. You have given them the power, but now I am here because I was the original. I am all-knowing. So you can go back now. Are you able to give us all this power, or is it just white ball? Because I came here expecting us to go through try, try, go, go about some trials I or could, getting some power. I could. But, um, I could. It doesn't feel like that kind of thing. Quentin will write in his book and. I can tell you this. Not, you know, do not worry. From you will Mikey. all get a little bit of power. But white ball will be the color. However, so that just seems to be my day. I mean, I can tell you this: there is nothing that can stand between the color and what power that I could give you. Lord's gonna ask your paper, what kind of power would you give us? I will give you the forbidden items. I'm gonna look down at my sword and go... I'm... guessing if you mean forbidden, you must know of the blade of a forbidden aspect? No, my friend. Forbidden as in... The items of ultimate power. The items of the original twelve. Do I know that he's lying? He is not lying. Do I know that he's lying? God damn it! I wish the skull was here. I'm gonna look and just and just go and just go. Well, we're all looking to kind of take on the Twelve Legacy, I mean... But first, I must fix something. That would be quite nice, having... And he will touch kind of his hand to the, to the forehead of Quentin. Oh, okay. This, this, and this and suddenly, weapon. instead of Quentin, there is now a skull. Oh, thank God, you're back. Ah. Really? The picture... He seemed a little nicer. Did the skull know that he was, like, was he still, like, in town waiting? Uh, no. You remember everything. You just felt really fucking small for some reason. Uh, so I, I know the pixie would do it. Do it did the pixie, like, basically take over my body as in the sense of that aspect? Yeah, but you still remember the entire conversation. The skull is a little peeved off now, and uh, he's just gonna. Be like, you gods, I am tired of all of this. I have no fucking say. A fucking random pixie boy comes out of me. That what is, is all this? That is because you are a refraction, my friend. The most powerful being of them all. Uh, Skull will just take his weapon out and throw it at uh, Hecky and be like, "I don't understand all this." And I as you throw to. as you throw the weapon at Hecky, it goes through him. And you're not even here. Oh, certainly I'm here. I just cannot fully manifest myself because, you know, I'm currently being controlled by an asshole. Well, maybe your asshole should take the weapon of yours that craves you so much. Do you want me to have it, friend? Why not? You do realize you give up that, that weapon. You ne you don't have anything to defend yourself. We've already right? heard what he said. I've heard it too. A forbidden weapons of the original twelve, whatever, gives them to us. He can take his weapon back. I don't need it. I will tell you this: I will keep the weapon safe. And suddenly, appearing before you will be an ethereal hand that will grab the sword. 
and suddenly it will become nearly real, and the sword will thank you as you've returned it to its original owner. And now, Heki will begin to explain. Now, we all will have power, but you, and he will point at White Paw, you are my special one. And suddenly, bursting from White Paw will be an ethereal white light. Well, they did call him holy. You, that my interesting. Friend, this is new. You, my friend, are now a color. All right. Allow me to explain out of character. You have just became one of the colors of the prism. Your character is now very important. Uh, I was hoping uh -oh. that you would choose someone else and not give it to random chance, but this is fine. Uh, this does not, however, mean that well, the campaign is important you, just you yet. Gonna choose. It's random. However, your characters and everything that you do in this world is going to be noted in a special document that is just for the 12 itself. And no one other than me can see it. So, don't fuck up. But now, the pressure is still on. Now we get to have a little bit Life. of fun. We get to play my favorite game. Me getting one of my very old documents and rolling tables. Oh, so I love I'll rolling right tables. So you guys know. The question is, the table only for white part, is it for all of us? You talked about forbidden weapons regrets. for all regrets. of us. You guys have regrets right now, all my brothers. Yeah, but that that's like Quentin. He's nowhere like nothing like a skull, and he literally leaves things to chance. There's no... Uh, because basically... If, if it is my purpose to choose, then the purpose of choosing will fall upon who uh, ever gets the chance to, you know, be chosen. So, you know, he closes his eyes, eeny, meeny, miny, tiger. mode, and Catch whoever like it lands on. Um... Yep. So, so it was kind of like standing in a circle, he'll spin around, and whoever it stops on is uh, is chosen. Yeah, well, Quentin is, it's not like his chosen, it's just like bestowing uh <laughs> you know, a power that's not his. Does anyone remember who the original white would have been? Hecky. Okay. That's oh. all I know. <laughs> so basically we've gone we've gone from him getting the original song and now we well, now we have him in our party. We have another Hecky. <laughs> <laughs> Hecky was gone, he has now returned. Well He's not really with us. Hmm. I can't go into detail because I'm it's funny. Guys figure that. Yes. Uh, what's your character? Hecky was oh, not. Uh, Hecky was not white. Hecky was not the white color. You the Pepe hands. I literally gave you the document. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh my God, Heki Akai was the right, so what, Heki Akai right will and have has always been the black color. Jesus. Oh, uh, uh, Does uh, anyone actually remember I'm who the original white color Ash was? Elf warlock. Uh, no, you can't. Oh nope. my God. Hold on. You don't have it on your document, so I, I can't see. I it. I do. It's just it was it was horror um, face. It was horror face, guys. Come on, come on, man. Where are you two? I even know I've been in your group for three years now. I still don't remember. Horus, nice. Yeah, Horus was the original white color. Um, if you know. You know who? If you want to know who I am, I'm I'm Mitchie. I'm a bard. I'm an eco. White right. Paul. 
a Lycan battle medic. medic. So let's let's have some fun, guys. <laughs> oh, you're a battle medic. <laughs> Field medic. Yeah. Jesus. First off, on the fuck down. Regrets. Have a great three days, my brothers. This is how we all die, guys. It's been a nice ride. Let's just hope none of these well, weapons are cursed. I already got a rapier. I don't need. Oh my! Ben's doing his evil smile right now. Yes. Let's have some fun. Someone's been given the Shrek ring. Whenever they. Whenever they use the ring, they have to play. You have to play the Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life, and be. Everyone hold nope. hands. Let's sing. Let's <laughs> <play with you. laughs> so oh, this, so this song is. This song is from Fred. the movie Shrek. Ben. Do not forget. <laughs> do not forget. When the bard starts singing a song. Whoop. Do not forget, Quentin, that you can use DM dice to allow me to reroll if you choose. Okay. Okay, I. Uh... Oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay. What have we done? Yeah, I'll give that to you. Okay. What? What have I been given? Okay. Just so you know, man, I'm, my character is lawfully good right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah I'm like, ah, chaotic neutral. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still very fucking. I oh my god, I rolled right two now. nines. Okay, that'll auto make it that one. I hope you know, I am fucking jamming right now. <laughs> what kind the of song jam like, are you making? Dab, uh, no one. Is it boysenberry? Purple berries. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, there's no fucking way I actually rolled that. Rip. Oh man, that's so funny. Oh, I love that. I love that for your character. I'm 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 so happy that you got that. Right, since you Someone's dead. Dead. Also, is the rapier something we have to put on the sheet or does it just act as a normal It's a normal rapier, but it's it's a plus three rapier though. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's a dangerous Oh weapon. my god! Hey! That's pretty cool. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> what the hell have we done? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is bad, Pepe Hands! Given a star blade right off the bat. Uh. Uh, well, there's only two items when I y'all have be. now been corrupted and turned into a shadow. Yep, I fucking knew it. All right, and finally, <laughs> <laughs> it's the second session, and we've already killed everyone else. How many sets of dice are you rolling? Are you done yet? He's rolling for each, all four of us. All right, let's let's go through this one by one. Let's have some fucking fun. All right, white paw. <laughs> I cannot believe I rolled this oh. item. <laughs> oh, I love items. And of course, this automatically goes to the color. You get it. You get it. A... 
Uh, Ever miss something in the chat? All right, there you go, White Paw. There's your item. <laughs> Blade of grass. <laughs> it's, oh my fuck! It's a star blade. It's a star blade. What the fuck? Damn, right off the bat, you got a star blade. What the fuck? You don't know why oh, uh, a that, star blade that, is sorry, one of that, the- Oh, that, it is the strongest that weapon. That damage is wrong. You're level 5, right? Or level 4? 4. Oh, good. Level four. 4. One sec. You gotta fix the damage. 1... 1d20 plus 13 to hit. There you go. Damage is updated. If it'll fucking work. Oh, oh, what? 3d6 plus 5! Alright, uh, this is man, man, man over here, bringing in Lanty. Not great, what do I got? Just so you know, uh, people who are now working with me are very cursed, are very lucky. <laughs> Either I get very lucky, or we're all fucked. <laughs> Fred knows me, either I roll 1 or I roll 20s. What the hell have I got <laughs> that, that takes this long to write down? <laughs> Yeah, Wipeout, you got a Star Blade even stronger than mine. This uh, is a very. Not. No. Beautiful blade. You are wrong. Is it, is it weird with the blade grass? All I'm thinking of is thin now sword. Now it's literally a blade of grass. It's a tiny sword. There you go, Mitchie. Oh. Very cool. What about you? You can actually. I'm in one of the original twelve <laughs> to hate you in combat. <laughs> so hang on, I have the power for 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 years just to get just to go. Oh, oh we need help. <laughs> Why do you get? All right, uh, Escal, you get so a. So I get can summon very, one of the twelve. Get a very very Great. fun item, man. I love this item. Oh, what 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 is the scowl got? What have you know. broken? <laughs> Don't know. Power to somebody Taco Bell in my hand once per day. <laughs> I made tacos rain from the sky. I think me and my friends talk about like a way to create a spell of raining cows by filling a bag of holding with minimizing cows like and putting them in there and they can only live up to like a few minutes or like ten minutes I believe it is. So what we do is, they're all gonna die, but you're all gonna right. gain like a corpse of dead there cows you go, Escal. when you enlarge in the bag and you open it. The Fallen Elf. Blade of the Fallen Elf. <gasps> Damn. I'm lost in my- What? What's my world then? Is this the... Like a blade related to Viten at all? Uh... No, it's a blade relic. Uh, it's a blade related to Hecky. Oh. And finally, for Boris and man, <laughs> I was I was laughing so hard whenever I rolled this item. Uh, so hang on. So we got blade. The grass. Like, literally a blade of grass that does that much damage. That's amazing. We have me who can call on the spirit of a tw 
of a, of one of the original twelve. We have the blade that can erase people from existence, so pretty much the Infinity Gauntlet. <laughs> pretty pretty much, Ascal has now become Thanos. <laughs> I am now. I am. Think. Uh, does this blade run off of what modifier, or is that flat? Uh, that is a flat. Uh, also, all of these items are Covenant, so they will level up with you. Ah, gotcha. I'm typing it out right now, because I have to look at a document and type it out, because it's not on an actual document that I can copy and paste from. Like, what do you give the ones? <laughs> what up? I feel like Bruce has like, like um, an ma another magical blade. Everyone gets a shiny sword except the cat. <laughs> I've already got a, I've already got a blade, mate. I've right. already got one. And there is Boris's. <laughs> there was a blade. It's a blade. <laughs> the Frost Maiden's blade of forever, freezing. Uh, one D twelve plus six, three D four plus four. If you happen to crit an enemy, you will deal 4d6 ice damage and freeze an enemy, stunning them for 1d7 rounds! Boris is a lover! Boris is a lover! I got the snow elf got the fruit, got the fright, got the basically the frozen blade. What is going on here? Yeah, I was, I was. I was so fucking excited when that happened. <clears throat> All right. Do I have? Do we have any indication? Because I know these are physical stuff, but what will I get to show that I can summon a twelve? Um. So, uh, to be clear, uh, Mitchie, you don't have an item that can summon the twelve. You are now imbued permanently with the power of the twelve. Damn. Does that mean? Like, oh, and by and by the power of the twelve, like I I mean the original twelve. So uh, as Mitchy gets his item, uh, he begins to shimmer with every single color that you see around you. Man, that's gonna be one like funky story where like the bar just like is everywhere. Well, apparently, I've now become jo I've now become Joseph in the technical dream coat. <laughs> Looks like a rainbow. All right. You yeah. sort of do. And What's White that, Paw, uh, the one from Critical Role. White Paw, slowly falling from the sky. An empty blade filled with stars that has long awaited so many people falls into your hands. Oh my. Isn't that the sword you picked up, Pascal? It looks... No. Not dissimilar. All right. This is a very strange blade. Now I have something special for the all of you. I'll if you choose to, English. if you choose to, also fuck you. If you choose to, <laughs> you guys can spend order on the pillars. And hold on, I'm pulling up the document. Define this. Um, does the skull gain the knowledge of Quentin? Uh, yes. While you're here, at least. How I much water does Boris got? Uh, also, the <laughs> shard that you once had, Escal, can be consumed into into uh, order if you choose to. What do you mean by order? Hold on, I'm pulling it up. <clears throat> oh. 
Good question. Uh, fucking, is it Shadow Figure with us? Uh, <laughs> no. He would die. Damn. Um, alright. So allow me to explain a little bit about my world that is hidden behind some stuff that no one else really knows other than me and Quentin. There are two attributes in my world called order and entropy. Order is obviously the good form of if you do right in the world, the world gains order. If I ever say that you guys gain order, that means that the entire world has gained order. In turn, you can spend this order on a specific pillar and make it stronger. However, this does have repercussions. This means that the order that is normally in the world will go down and that entropy will stay at the same level. However, if order and entropy are not at the same level, or order is lower than entropy, the enemy will be winning. Uh, currently, there is... Uh, I hate this. Uh, there is currently 420 order and 400 entropy. So you guys know, as a side note out of context, Quentin, when deciding how much power he was going to have, he set the number 420. That's how he gained more power. Excellent. But, um, uh, so a skull knows the same knowledge Quinta knows at this point only while he's here. And he knows that he's connected to blue. Yes. And he knows that the shard will give order. Yes. And increase blue's power. Well, you can increase any power so if you he... choose to. Well, the Skull's going to want more power if he knows he's connected to Blue or whatever, and he knows the Shard can do it. He's just going to give it to Blue. A Skull is all about gaining more power for himself, so he thinks of it as a benefit for him. <sighs> Wait, do I see Do I see this? Uh, yeah, you can see the Shard breaking. So I... Even though I can't stop, so I can't stop him from doing this. Ah, uh, no. Damn it. I was going to cast whole person on you. Hold on. I have to... I have to find the document of how much power this crystal actually contained. Uh, I believe it was 100,000? I think we uh, need to get high spells. Uh, guys, it is, it is it is nine now, so I do kind of have to go. Yeah, that's fine. See ya. Have a good night. Yeah, that's okay. If you if you guys are gonna play more, then I'll nah, we'll, then I'll watch. We'll, we'll end it what here. We'll, we'll end it left, here, and so. then we'll we'll start it back up. But I have to give uh, Quentin his power. So we'll end the session here. Thank you guys so Fuck. much for playing. I hope you guys keep playing. I know. Very excited to. I'm a, I'm a, come on.